Max, I'll start with you. Does this game say more about OKC or Golden State? Golden State, because you blink. I mean, you blink with Golden State, and a close game becomes a blowout. And the reason is they have three of the best offensive players, let alone shooters, or in the league, obviously in Steph and KD and Klay Thompson. And even Draymond Green, as a result of those guys, shoots, you know, I mean, nowadays we're numb to it. Remember when Kevin Love would shoot like 35, 36% from three, and we're like, oh, my God, a big who can do that? What about Draymond Green? I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's unfair. As I mentioned, uh, this is Kenny Smith's point, halftime a couple days ago, um, Steph Curry, Stephen A., you called him correctly, greatest shooter of all time, a mobile artillery unit, Steve Nash 2.0. You can't double him. He never gets doubled. It's just ridiculous. And what you saw is against another, I think it's fair to say the Thunder or a Western Conference powerhouse, at least potentially, you blink. Game over. It's like it's like the, the Coyote and the Roadrunner, Stephen A. Remember, the Coyote was fast, like the Thunder. Like, he was good. He could almost catch the Roadrunner, and then the Roadrunner shows you, me, me, he was playing with him. Gone. Cloud of dust. That's Golden State. Well, I, I don't disagree with you, but my focus is on OKC, and here's why. Uh, credit to you, uh, because you were talking about the explosiveness of the Golden State Warriors, which we all knew, but you stated it, and that was that. Um, I looked at, go at OKC, and I tried to give them some credit. Paul George is a star. Paul George has been playing like a star. I get it. But, boy, did he pick a bad night to have a bad night. Mm -hmm. One for 14 shooting, uh, absolutely anemic. Nothing would fall. That happens. But it wasn't as simple as that. When you take into account anybody from a Klay Thompson to a Draymond Green to a Kevin Durant, even to a Sean Livingston or an Andre Iguodala, it's not just that they're going to help in terms of doubling. The length that they have on the defensive end of the floor is incredibly formidable, which means that it calls upon your stars to play like stars. Now, Zsa Zsa Pajulia contributing to Russell Westbrook going down, no doubt contributed to their demise. This is a five-point game, and then the next thing you know, they exploded once Russell Westbrook was out. But you have to also take into account the fact that OKC really didn't have anything other than their big three. You had guys on the court who could do absolutely nothing offensively. And Golden State doesn't have that problem. And guess why? I'm not even talking about the starters. Of course, Steph Curry's obvious. Kevin Durant's obvious. Uh, Klay Thompson's obvious. What about Swaggy P. Nick Young? I don't think people have recognized what this dude can give you off the bench in this system for this team. It makes them incredibly formidable. If you're OKC, you got to be able to do one or two things. You got to be able to get some production from somebody other than your big three, or you have to be able to defend. And what I saw was a team that could really go at Golden State, particularly with the big three. That was not the case Saturday night. Without Russell Westbrook, they were lost souls. Now, chances are you're not going to be without Russell Westbrook, so we'll see. But I certainly expected more from them. But in the blink of an eye, it went from a competitive game to an annihilation. And I'm, I, and I'm literally talking, Max, all I did was go into my kitchen yeah. and make me a cup of hot chocolate. All right? No cereal? And Max, I came back, and I came, it, was from, it went from five, no crunch berries, just a hot no chocolate. It went from five, five-point deficit to a 24-point deficit when all I did was go to grab the hot chocolate that I had left in the kitchen and then walk back. I'm trying to tell you, it was that, it was that damn quick. Look, I couldn't that, believe it. That's I what said, happens, and that's the problem. The coyote was fast. Sometimes you saw that. You say, coyote's fast. Coyote would dust a lot of other desert animals, I'm sure, right? But when the roadrunner <laughs> thinks he's getting close, meep, meep, cloud of dust, he's gone. Now, I will say this. Kawhi Leonard in the playoffs, he was on the floor. And they were beating the brakes off of Golden State. And then suddenly Kawhi Leonard wasn't on the floor. And that was the end of the series. So does Russell Westbrook's presence or absence affect whether or not Golden State Without can go question. on a run? Of course Without it question. does. Of course it does. But I do think Golden State's capable of going on those kind of explosive runs no matter who's on the floor. They just shoot the ball too well. Mm -hmm.